Once upon a time, there was a village, and in that village lived a dragonfly named Penny. Penny was the princess of the village. The village was sealed off from the rest of the world with a magical river, and dangers were lurking on the other side, just waiting for some adventures. Daddy, why can't I cross the river? Because, darling, on the other side of that river are dangers like nothing you have ever seen before. But I'm not scared. I can take those monsters with just my left pinky. I'm sure you will, but now it is time for bed. But I'm not sleepy. <sighs> Night night, my little monster. Eight years later. Today's the day I'm finally going to cross the river. Penny, how dare you? I told you never to cross the river. But Dad, I was six. That was years ago. And nothing has changed in the last eight years. You are just 14. Do you think I'm going to let a 14-year-old girl into a forest where dangers lurk around every corner? No, I just don't want you to see me as a little girl. But you are just a little girl, and nothing will change that. Go back to the village. Fine. <sighs> Penny, what's wrong? I just wish my dad would see I'm not just a little girl. Yeah, but he's not going to get off your back until someone proves him wrong. That's it. I must prove my dad wrong. Then he will realize I'm no longer a little girl and start letting go. Okay, but he has already stopped you once. What makes you think he won't do it again? He has a meeting this whole afternoon. So if we go then, he will only realize we're gone when it's too late to stop us. You're a genius. See you at noon. Bye! Hi! Sup? You ready? I was born ready. Okay, Senor Bravery. Can we get this over without any name calling? Fine. One, two, three, jump! Hey, that was not so bad, but it's getting dark. We should set up camp. You're right. I will get the sleeping bags. Coming? Okay. <sighs> Carlos, really? I guess walking around a little won't hurt. It's not like I'm going to get any sleep here. La 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 Ah, who are you? No need to be afraid. My name is Caleb. If I have it correct, you are the princess of the village right across the river. No surprise that you come to a magical forest like this. It is just beautiful. Only we haven't been getting a lot of visitors lately. I know why that is. My dad, the king, has banned anyone from coming here, so I snuck out last night to see what was beyond the river. Really? The king? After we have been so good to you. But, Penny, I really think you should consider staying in this forest permanently. Penny! Penny! Whoa! Carlos, you look out of breath. <sighs> Penny, we must get out of this forest now. The whole campsite is covered in spiders and snakes. I barely escaped. Well, my friend Caleb said that the forest is full of wonderful things. What part of snakes and spiders did you not understand? You know, Carlos, I'm going to look around the forest for myself with Caleb and decide whether it is dangerous or not. Fine, but don't come running back to me. Fine. So, Caleb, where are we going? To my place, and here we are. <laughs> oh, well, 
your house is dark. This way, please. Feel free to sit down. I just need to do something. Ha! Now I have you. What? Caleb, I thought we were friends. Well, then I must have broken your little heart. You see, I've been planning this for a long time. And now you're all alone with no one to save. Penny has been gone for a long time. Longer than I expected. Too long. I must go back to the village and tell Penny's dad. Good morning, Carlos. Have you seen Penny? She did not come home last night. I am terribly worried. That's why I'm here. We crossed the river yesterday and camped in the woods on the other side. Penny talked about a friend she met there. His name is Caleb. Caleb is dangerous. I know where she is, but we must go now before it is too late. Go get the royal guard. Yes, sir. Oh, your majesty. What are you doing here? I want my daughter back. You were always a smart one. If you don't give her back, I'll take her back. You and what are you? Oh, that are you. Get him! You're coming with us. Let's go find Penny. Good idea. Penny! Penny! I'm in here! I'll try to break the lock. Hurry, Dad, I'm so glad you're here. And got it. What was the code? One, two, three. I'm only glad you're safe. I'm so sorry, I'll never try anything like this again. You better not. Let's go home. Agreed. So Penny and their dad went home. And as far as Caleb, he went to jail. And they all lived happily ever after. The end.